Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Force Matt News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be the last Phillies video for now. Hopefully, we make a bigger move soon to mix in with all these nice small moves. We're at 39 on the 40 man roster. This one is going to be on the Garrett Stubbs trade. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe at the easy to use widget up above at the end or down below right now, trying to hit 160 by the end of the month. We're almost there. Really appreciate you all, Stubbs. Obviously, he can play the outfield, too, as well as catching position. He's the second guy, adding Donnie Sands, who is also a potential backup catcher option since Garrett, or not Garrett, Stubbs, um, since uh, Andrew Knapp has been outrighted by our Philadelphia Phillies, which was the right decision to make. Very good guy, just not as good of a player. Garrett Stubbs is more comparable to him in terms of catching the ball being a much more consistent fielder than he has hitter. He hasn't really hit much at all as the MLB level yet. He's 28 years old, but he manages the staff really well, catches the ball really well, and that's why he's stuck around. That's why guys like A.J. Ellis is stuck around in their careers, and other guys as well <clears throat> have been able to stick around for a while. Like, for example, Russell Martin stuck around for a bit after he couldn't really hit anymore because he was such a good backstop behind the plate as well as also guys like Andrew Knapp, in many opinions, stuck around a little bit better, more because he could manage the staff really well. Stubbs fits more into that category, but the big difference with Stubbs is he's a pretty quick runner out there and a very solid fielder in the outfield as well. So he kind of killed, as a depth level, two birds in one stone. The Phillies add depth to their catching position to be the potential backup catcher, but also depth to their outfield position to be a potential backup outfielder in both corner spots. So the Phillies added versatility with Garrett Stubb and a very good fielder. Now you have to try to get him with Kevin Long to be able to see if he can become a more consistent hitter because Sands and Ohapi and Marcon are better hitters than Garrett Stubbs, in my opinion. Marcon, though, with the way that the roster's at 39 and we added Sands, and Stubbs, I feel like with the way that he's been in trade rumors, those are going to go from rumors to actually happening in the next couple of weeks, just in my own opinion, because you added a couple catchers today and good ones at that. Stubbs and a guy that's versatile and a great fielder. Sands and a guy that looks like he has the potential to be a solid hitter. And then Ohapi looks like he has the potential to be a really solid hitter. So you can, and so does Sands, honestly, if you look at his career track progressions, just oh, Hoppy's younger and doing it at a younger age. Sands is coming up at a mature age of 26 if he comes up this year, 25. So, um, but either way, it's always good to have great catching prospects. I just feel like this is Marcon potentially being moved because we're at 39 people on the roster right now. Obviously, we're going to make more moves and make some bigger moves mixed in with these nice small moves. And by adding Stubbs and Sands and already having Ohapi who moved all the way up to 11th um, on our prospect pool after being picked in the very latter rounds of the draft and becoming a very good prospect for the Phillies. Kudos to him and hats off to him. The Phillies now have Marcon a little bit expendable as a great catching prospect that I would be sorry to lose, but you have to move guys that are good and expendable at a very desired position. You can never have enough very good catchers on your team, like I said, depth-wise, but you are going to move them if you do have a solid amount. That's why it's weird. It's like a oxymoron but or a hypocritical statement, but if you have enough, you are going to move one if you can add to your outfield or add to your pitching staff, and that's what I feel like the Phillies are going to do, putting Marcon in a trade probably in the next coming weeks, and that's why they added Stubbs. That's why they brought in Sands to also have with Ohapi, so they don't have to rush Ohapi along and can have him be very good by the time he comes up. And Sands is already at 25 and looks like he ain't too far away and is in his prime age right now. So wouldn't be surprised if he even gets the shot to be the backup catcher since I just talked about how Garrett Stubbs can play the outfield and catch. So if he hits well, he could be your backup outfielder combined with catcher. And then you have Sands, who basically can just be your backup catcher. So it wouldn't be out of the world if they both do well in spring training for both to make the team. Since, like I said, Sands is already at 25. It's triple A time. as hit well as a switch hitter. And this is if Marcon's traded. And then also, obviously, Stubbs is a very good fielder and can skate a little bit on the bases and is a good base runner at that. So he's a good guy to add to the team, a good guy to add to the catching core. Let's see if Kevin Long can get him hitting a little bit because then he becomes a really solid commodity, even if he only hits like 230-something and just is able to drive some in and be a solid guy on the bases like I already said he is. 
Walker Stubbs with his fielding ability and versatility becomes a pretty solid commodity. And then Sands looks like he can develop into a pretty solid hitting backup catcher at the very least. So this has been a reaction to the Phillies getting Garrett Stubbs. Made a good slew of smaller moves on Friday. Now it's time to make the bigger moves, Phillies. But I like the nice little smaller moves because these are moves that feel like they have a better chance than the smaller moves Matt Glentag made to turn into little pieces of something in the future and little pieces of the puzzle, of the whole puzzle, I should say. In the future, like you see teams like the Cardinals, the Braves in our division, the Dodgers always, even um, teams like the uh, Reds at times pick up moves that are going to be smaller, and then they turn into bigger moves, or the Giants with like the Lloyd with all these different guys, or like these scale of different guys. You have players that you don't think are going to become as big a names you bring in, and then they do become bigger pieces of the puzzle. That's what the Phillies are hoping with these smaller moves. And Garrett Stubbs is a nice guy to add more for a fielding perspective. you got to get him hitting. Sands looks like he can be a solid hitter. Nick Nelson needs to have control. And then <clears throat> um, when it comes to, obviously, the Phillies trying to harness guys with control, I don't always have the most warm and fuzzy inside, but that's why I did like the pickup of Ken Emanuel, which I already did a video on as well because he doesn't have the control problems. just needs to come back from yet another injury. So this has been a reaction to the Garrett Stubb move. I'm going to link the other two videos in this video if you want to check them out as well. Nice job by the Phillies on the small moves. Now it's time for the larger moves. Stay safe out there, everybody, and go Phillies.